Hello everyone, uh, my name is Mark Brown. Uh, I'm at Dublin City University and I'm part of the team that are working on Work Package 4 for the ECIU University. The purpose of this short video is to give you a little bit of an explanation about the proposed learner transformation framework as we're inviting feedback on the draft framework. Just to give a little context, um, the ECIU University has its vision 2030, and as part of that vision, we express a, a desire or a commitment to build a sort of new European ecosystem for higher education. Um, the vision articulates the values of the ECIU University, as well as a number of core elements, um, four core elements that make up the ECIU University. The assumption that we're working on in the context of this proposal to develop a learner transformation framework is that there's something missing uh, that needs to help us articulate more clearly, both internally, but also externally, what the unique, I'll use business language here, the USP, the unique selling point is. What is it that really we're trying to say externally that makes the ECIU University offerings very different from other offerings? And in particular, when I use the word offering, I'm really referring to our micro-credentials because there are probably going to be dozens, if not hundreds of micro-credentials over the next few years being offered by European higher education institutions and perhaps also by industry partners. So what is it that really makes ours stand out? So the assumption that we're working on is that, as the, the quote there says, it doesn't take a genius, genius to um, figure out that having a framework can be helpful to better tell our story, our unique story, what makes us really unique. So that's kind of the background to what I'm about to share with you by way of the draft framework. Just though to give you a sense, um, we haven't just generated this framework from hot air or out of our own thinking. We've looked at literature on frameworks. So this is actually a very comprehensive site that's maintained by Harvard University, which keeps a compendium or a database of frameworks that can be used in education. Uh, we've looked at some of the European frameworks. This particular framework was uh, published last year by the European Commission. It's called the Life Comp Framework. So we looked to see, would this be a way of helping to tell our story and how our micro-credential offerings um, and our micro modules are somehow unique in what we're trying to achieve. In the end, one of the real core features we keep coming back to is that the ECIU University is committed to lifelong learning, to promoting lifelong learning. So in the literature on lifelong learning, um, what is often referred to as the UNESCO pillars of learning, they stand out as the foundational definition of lifelong learning. They actually come from as early as the 1950s. That's learning to be, learning to do, learning to know, and learning to live together. It was later, actually quite recently, that a fifth pillar was added, which is learning to change or learning to transform. So um, our thinking is very much anchored around um, those pillars, they have credibility and currency already in the literature. They even have been used in the past in Europe to help uh, assess progress for lifelong learning in each member country. Uh, what we've done here, as this slide tries to catch up, is added in the ecosystem idea around um, those four pillars to begin with. And you can see some of the other um, cornerstones of the ECIU University, including the commitment to sustainable development goals. Doesn't quite work for a framework, so we've taken that one more step. Um, and you'll just have to see this as a working document. At whatever point we get to your feedback, helping us understand how we might be able to visually present some of this thinking. What you're seeing in front of you at the moment is a very mocked up version. We haven't gone to a graphic designer. But what we found quite useful was the metaphor of a compass, a directional compass, because part of the ECIU University is about breaking new ground, breaking, going beyond the edge where the edge or the borders or boundaries are now. So, and that's in all directions, hence the four directions of the compass, if you like. 
um, that an ECIU, uh, a learner who's been working and studying through the ECIU University is committed in a mindset, if you like, to really pushing boundaries and expanding horizons. But equally important, if not more important, as we try to capture in the center of the compass, a commitment to challenge and transforming, not just the status quo, but truly to challenge and transform what we do. So this is sort of what we've come up with, but we've added a, um, another dimension to it to go beyond just the UNESCO pillars of learning, which come from a long time in the past, to add to that a more contemporary narrative. And in some respects, you could call this a framework, or it's more of a broad uh, heuristic, if that term uh, makes sense to you. A heuristic is slightly above a framework as a, as a word. Um, but by adding beyond place, beyond now, beyond norm, beyond space, perhaps we'll change those with your feedback. The intention is to try to signal that this is not about just repeating what we've already done in another way and in a partnership, but really breaking new ground by thinking beyond the now and the beyond the norm and so forth. So what you're seeing in front of you is the kind of broad framework that we're proposing at this point in a draft form to be able to help explain to others, to explain to students, to explain to um, others within the European Commission um, and beyond what it is that might set our credentials apart, our micro-credential offerings, micro-modules, our challenges. Um, in particular though, drilling down to another level um, we are also seeking feedback on the idea that as part of our, I'll call it the credential or micro-credential ecology, that we're going to propose that uh, there are some very prestigious, high quality, what we're calling as a working title, ECIU creds. And these will be areas that we choose that have particular significance they're very carefully chosen because they capture some of the elements of our mission. Um, and they're also very topical right now. Things like data literacy, um, social impact leadership, uh, creativity innovation. These are just indicative examples here, active citizenship. Um, we invite feedback on those, but that is also another process that we're trying to identify. Small um, numbers right now, um, less is more in some respects, so not like the micro modules. We just want some very carefully selected high profile ECIU creds to give you a sense of how these might fit together. And within the broader context of the proposed framework, is we will have um, probably digital badges that are issued for completion of the ECIU challenges. We'll have um, badges of some kind similarly issued for completion of our micro modules. We've got lots of those micro modules, but then the ECIU creds will be particularly prestigious. Perhaps there'll be a mix of transversal skills, some might call future skills, um, and then a mix of uh, a focus, particularly on sustainable development goals or new discipline knowledge areas that are really important. So I hope um, that background context to the um, framework is helpful. And as I said right at the outset, we're seeking your feedback and ideas to help us improve the draft framework with the intention in terms of next steps um, this is part of the consultation we want to go through. We're asking you a number of questions through the Google form that we're using for feedback and uh, whether this works for you, how useful you think it would be and any particular ideas or suggestions you have for how we might be able to improve on what I've reported in helping to tell the ECIU story and our aspiration for the future of short learning experiences that lead to one form or another of micro-credential. So I'll stop on that note and we look forward to receiving your feedback. Thank you very much. Oh, I should, one last afterthought or quick add appendix is it is still possible for you to log in and work your way through in a self-paced form through the free masterclass that we have available. 
Um, whilst we facilitated this uh, a month or so ago, much of the content is all there that you can work your way through if you want to learn more about micro-credentials more generally and why we're investing in micro-credentials. So this short masterclass is there for you, um, waiting to uh, work your way through. We're also very um, happy to provide a uh, workshop, a targeted workshop for your university where we draw on some elements of this masterclass um, that are specific to your needs. So that's an additional point. I will stop on this note now and we look forward to hearing from you. Thank you very much.